bit of an update for this week. Um, I'm actually driving around in an area I'm not familiar with, I'm getting cyclists from all directions. Um, yeah, so work wise, work is pretty dry at the moment in the UK in a sense remotely so I might actually have to head into the UK for a bit. Um, the funeral cost this year hit me financially early on so I've got to sort of recover that cost um, which is why we, I'll probably head back. Um, financially we're okay. I mean I've got enough money coming in this month, well not this month but ongoing. Um, to basically sustain our lifestyle here in Spain but I've also got the money in Spain in the Philippines which makes it sustainable there as well um, but I actually need to get some more money back in to fund our trip back to the Philippines this year um, because I, that's probably going to cost me a good three four thousand pounds um, so I'll probably head back I've had a contract come in on Friday which um, is to survey some Ministry of Defence bases. So I'll see, see how that goes. Put my name down anyway. Go, going into the UK in the summertime to work on the coast isn't exactly the worst worst case scenario. Um, so we'll wait and see. Uh, how's everything else going? Well, April finished her college course. It was only a one week course, but she, she's got her certificate from it. Um, so that was pretty good considering the, I mean that, that's what I keep saying, her Spanish is pretty good. All the exams and everything were in Spanish, everything was in Spanish and she, she passed, her, passed her course. But on top of that she's, um, she, she made some new friends but also there's this thing with this coffee English thing where basically they do this conversational English at the college and they've asked her to put a CV in so a CV has been uh, put in this week as well So she's she looks like she'll have her own work set up uh, She's getting a bit more independent as well She's started going out with some of the her Spanish friends, you know, because there's some of the girls from the school, but also um, Like t tomorrow night um, or tonight there's the there's a big uh, procession here in uh, Toy Rekka relating to the Holy Week and April wants to go and see it so I said to April she can go go down there with May or you know one of her friends and I'll, I'll watch the kids because um, you know I'm not religious but at the end of the day it'll be a nice procession and April just takes the camera and that along for us so we might have some good footage after that um, another thing I've been looking at is able to do more of the camera work now. Um, I've got to get her used to using the different cameras, uh, but I think we'll be doing more video footage. Um, well, improved video footage because being behind and in front of the camera at the same time is never easy. Um, what was the last? One? Oh, the YouTube stuff. Oh, the the. I have no idea what YouTube are going to do with dealing with its advertisers. I don't know if some of it's an excuse just to reduce the rates. I have no idea. Um, but right now, I'm probably... Considering I did a lot of the, the live chat stuff, to bits, because they were promoting the live chat, um, we were heading towards, say, just on this channel, um, around $200 a month. Uh, that's dropped back down by probably about $30 now because of this um, advertising thing. Um, I'm not losing sleep over it because I do use this money basically to pay the electric bill, the water bill and then keep some money back for emergencies in the Philippines so it's not as if I'm reliant on it. It's just a bit begrudging that you put a bit of effort in and you don't get a lot of payback off it. But that's life, you know. I mean the Spanish channel I do as well doesn't make a lot of money uh, but the good thing about the Spanish channel there is a lot of stuff that comes off the back of it um, I'll discuss that in another video alright thanks for watching